Yes. We are live. We are live. We are live. Did I say welcome to the main event? Oh. Run that thing, bro. Right? <laughs> are you mad? Oh, man. Behave before you talk about what I'm talking about, yeah? Disclaimer. <laughs> Run that thing back. Now, man, let's stay there in your corner, man. Run that thing back, man. I don't want to hear nothing from you. We are live, guys. I'm Jay, one further the Cyber Nerds. Raving your GS. So I'm Mr. Blitzstick. And we're back with another The Batman review today. Full spoilers. Like the whole thing's out here, innit? Get me. Now, if you want to be part of this whole thing, you know what time it is. Subscribe to the channel, roll to 200,000 subscribers. And if you haven't already, hit the thumbs up and press the notification bell so you can get notified every time we drop a banger. Now, I want to even start pretty much from where we left off in the other review. Which was... Sam... Trying to hold back going in. Oh yeah. On okay. um, spoilers. On yeah yeah full spoilers. Wait, full spoilers. Falcone dies. Bang. <laughs> the commissioner dies. Bang. You already know about these people. They're in the trailer and they're dead. I'm trying to think of anyone who really dies. Alfred gets blown to shit. <laughs> I think that's about it. Isn't it? That's it's about not, it. There's it's not, not. It's not many deaths. There's not. It's, it's not like it needs to be. Well, there yeah. are many deaths because, like, there's a serial killer thing going on. Oh, yeah. But, like, of the people that were interested... Do you know what? The twins, their pride and self-respect. Oh, my God, bro. Dead. Oh, my God. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, after yeah, yeah, yeah. after this. Dead, yeah, yeah. After this. After that. Yeah, you get me? But, yeah. Sam, Falcone, what are you saying? Uh, yeah. Um, one of my least favourite parts of the movie. Uh, yeah, Falcone for me. Like, after watching... The Long Halloween, which I like that they translated that story from here into this, I thought was super legit. Obviously, you got that the gangsters, the story, um, the police, the whole city, and Batman <clears throat> involved in this whole detective story, super legit. But when it comes to Falcon, I was like, I don't know, man. Like, I don't feel his presence as like a mob boss. That this guy saying, "Oh, Bruce Wayne's dad came to me to instill the fear in this guy." And I have to do more. I'm like, I, I really don't feel this guy like scaring anybody out on this. Like, I felt Penguin's presence more of a mob boss than I did Falcon. See, and I, I, I want to, and this is why I want to jump in with you because it's like the first viewing, I took it like I felt the exact same way. And we, I remember mm. discussing it and being like, yeah, man, um, Falcon really ain't doing it for me. But on the second viewing, yeah, I was like, Nah, it works because, yeah, mm. he's like a weaselly, squirmy guy. Right. Yeah. So, but he, I don't perceive him to be the one who pulls the trigger. Okay. Do you get what I'm saying? Mm. So in the first view, I was taking it as, yeah, man, man's running to you and you're going to do the dirty work. But he's not, bruv. Mm. He's just going to him. He's sending his goons to go do it. I don't believe that Falcone actually pulled <clears> the trigger on the, on, on the reporter. Mm -hmm. And I don't think he's the one who pulled the trigger on the parents as the mob boss. I feel like he's just sending man out, mm. and that's that's fine with him. Them being squirmy, do you get what I'm saying? You know, you know, <sighs> you know, with all of that, yeah. You know what I saw with this with this interpretation of of Karma and Falcone is the same thing I see with the Joker in um, Injustice, right? The guy has no powers, but he's the most dangerous person because of his mind. Mm. And this is and this is why I love Gotham. I'm not the biggest Batman fan, but I love. Gotham and what Gotham brings to the table, like all the villains and stuff like that. Do you know what I mean? So when Carmine, when they start breaking down how Carmine is the actual like mayor without being the mayor, to me, it makes sense that this guy does not need that presence because then all the attention will be on him. Do you know what I mean? Like if you are to run the city for so long without being detected, bro, like that's who you, that's, that's the kind of person it's going to be. And this is when... <laughs> I see uh, John T um, Tentoro running, like, doing this this role. I was like, raw. I never thought I would see, one, I would see this guy play a bad guy because usually he's like, even if he's the ops, he's still, like, funny like mm -hmm. and stuff like that. But he just had this whole charisma that wasn't like, oh, this guy's not menacing. But at the same time, he's messed up because, like, even when he's, um, he's uh, got a... Uh, Selena. Selena on the floor. And he's talking about, oh, my own blood. And he's choking her <laughs> with, with the pole. <laughs> and hearing back the, the video, uh, the, the the sound recording. Boy, he killed the girl. 
bro. See, I, like, uh, he's looking his eyes, then showed me, yo, no, nah, this guy is see, mad. See, and I wanna, I rate that as well because I think when in that scene, I tie it more back to him killing Selena's mum. Mm. Do you know what I'm saying? And being like, ah, oh, like, I had to, basically you had to strangle the mum as well. <clears throat> so now we're now getting a picture of he strangled the mum, he strangled the chick. The only time in, he's murking in the apartment, he's personal, and he's and he's and he's trying to murk. A Celine, like, mm. that sets up his character for more for me. Like, that's the kind of guy he is, bruv. Mm. Do you know what I'm saying? He gets drunk and, and, and beat up a woman or something yeah, like that. And, and, bruv, and like, but he's bruv, not going to go out and, sh- and shoot. That's, that's not worse than case, then. Bruv, bruv, that's bruv. the right case. Yeah, that's bruv. the right that's case of... So, that's the right case like, of who's going to run the team, And bruv. even for mm. him to pull the trigger, for him, I feel like everything has to be personal. Look what's coming out of his mouth. Oh, his own blood coming after you. Like, even though you don't even... Mess with the girl, mm. bro. Like everything for him, for him to get his hand dirty, he has to be personal, bro. He has to be, and it feels like, oh, it's only women that get to man. Look the way he talks to every girl that comes towards him, bro. Mm. Look his presence. Oh, yeah, man. Like treats them right, but as soon as they cross the line, yeah, it's a choking thing. <laughs> like, bro. Yeah, no, I was the worst case for me to be honest, but it is what it is. I don't understand how it's the worst case. Like, like I said, like someone like Bane mm. ain't gonna get to run a city for twenty years. Someone's mm. gonna just shoot Bane mm. because he's intimidating. Yeah. He's a menace. Yeah, he's a presence. Insane, yeah. But someone like Tore- uh Carmine, mm. bro, you're just you're gonna let man be, and he's finessed the whole organization. You know what I'm saying? He's he took Deep, he, he, he's finessed everything, Deep. bro. So Deep. like like I said, I had a turnaround pretty much on his character. Um, but yeah, man, what else, like, what else you really want to get into? I thought that Alfred, um, I really like Andy Serkis as Alfred, um, but he doesn't get loads of screen time, which is different from like in the other Batmans where it's like, they usually put Batman and him as the the two partners. But yeah. in this, where is um, James, James Gordon, Jeffrey Wright's um, <clears throat> Lieutenant Gordon and, and, and Batman, he's a partner there. Mm. And then Batman's also got... Catwoman as a partner, mm. so then it's kind of like pushes Alfred to the side. Yeah. So I'm hoping like in the next movie we get more Alfred involved with stuff. You get what I'm saying? I liked it, but and I know it's not something that you need to retread on mm-hmm. all the time. But I I don't want to waste Andy Serkis. Well, one thing I really liked what they did with this Alfred is that he's more of a vehicle to to the past, to the Wayne's family's past. Mm. I thought that is super sick because mm. obviously, like you've you mentioned, in the past, is like he's the partner. Mm. Now he's more like a compass to the past. Mm. Do you know what I mean? Like anything that's happening, and obviously with, with this whole Batman being so deep with Gotham, like family ties, going back, bro, all I'm hearing is core vowels, core vowels, core vowels, core vowels, <laughs> core vowels, core vowels, core vowels, you know what I mean? So mm. I, I like I like how they did this alpha, like, do you know what I mean? Yeah. For me, I feel like anything to do with uh, the Waynes in general, I feel like Bruce Wayne's just trying to push that away. That's mm-hmm. including Alfred. So we had Selena Kyle relationship. He would go forward with that because that's an external person. Mm-hmm. Same thing with James Gordon. Like, he feels like he's that guy's a good cop. So man will just mess with that guy. But when it comes to anything to do with his in immediate family he's like <clears throat> I could trust you but only so much yeah. that's why when I feel like he almost died that's when the relationship almost went forward but we again we don't see too much of that but that's like a stepping stone to where we're going to see mm, in the future mm, where it's like mm, oh mm, mm. Alfred is not my dad but he's my only family left yeah, yeah. so no I love the, I love the relationship <clears throat> there and I love that in this movie I feel like this is probably for me the movie where, like they always say oh, Batman is the face and Bruce Wayne is the mask. Mm. And I think this is the first movie where there's no mask. Yeah. Like, there's no Bruce... For me, when I watch it, there's no Bruce Wayne in this movie. Yes. Like, man is... Man's not even Batman, Batman yet. Okay. Like, he's just... Look, like, he's just... just he is right. Batman, but he's not <laughs> the Batman, like, mm. until the end of the movie. Yeah, yeah. When he when he realises, and they do it in a dialogue, and I love the noir dialogue, and when he's like, oh, I have to show them that there is hope. There is someone, there is this, and it's the it's the juxtaposition of in the beginning of the movie, yeah, the, beginning. <laughs> the, the, the signal goes up, yeah, yeah, and he's just defended the guy from being beaten up by the by the gang. Mm. And the guy is still scared of him. Mm. And he's like, no, 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 don't hurt me, even though he just saved man. And at the end, the woman's clutch it like there's fire brigade mm-hmm. and um air para rescue, and she's grabbing to Batman, like, no, you're the safest place yeah. here. That's fire to me. And I love that, like, 
I think you can only really understand that by not having Bruce Wayne present mm. in this movie and saving the Bruce Wayne element into the next movie, which they did with um, Bear, uh, Bear mm. So, like, Bear Real, she's running for mayor, and obviously she has a conversation with Bruce, and she's like, yo, your family's known for philanthropy, but you ain't doing nothing. I think that's only just to set up for the next movie for where he starts to be like, okay, see this Bruce Wayne mask? Mm. I'm going to use it. I'm going to wear it. I'm going to keep... I'm going to go hard at it. Like, he wore it one time mm. in this when he went to the funeral and my man's onto him. Alfred's onto him like, you're going? He's like, yeah, 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 yeah. Like, <laughs> do you know what I'm saying? Like, man, yeah, yeah. that much of a recluse, man. <laughs> but more of a recluse sure? than um, oh. Bale in yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> The Dark Knight Rises, yeah, yeah, fam. Sure so, you know what? Yeah, sure yeah, well, everything you said, yeah, man's got a... Man's got they, a no, they patterned it. They patterned it. No, I'm with it. I'm with it. I'm with it. I'm with it. They patterned it. They patterned it. Matt Reeves and Peter Craig's writing on this thing is crazy bro like what what like bro you just oh, when you was talking about like the beginning bit a man's having flashbacks and they just they're just telling the story they're narrating the thing Sick. and you just seeing the, the signal mm. and and people's reactions like they're doing something they're committing crime they seen thing, but soon it, bro, soon as see that darkness, bro, <laughs> and Gotham is just darkness everywhere. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like, bro, like, come on, man. I like we've never seen Gotham like this no. before. I, I, I think one of the things I really love about this year is that like it feels like so many Batman stories <clears throat> in one. Like you brought up the um the long Halloween, which man watched recently, which I love, and I love all of the stuff that they took from there and put in here in terms of. Falcone, the relationship to Selina Cole, mm. the relationship between Falcone and uh, the Waynes. But then even taking it deeper to what you were talking about with how like Gotham, the city is alive. I love that the things that they kind of, I feel like they took from Batman Begins, where it's like in Batman Begins, at, in the beginning of Dark Knight, the signal goes up and man's like, oh, you've got more chance of winning the Super Bowl instead <laughs> of running into man. Yeah, that's what man says. But in this one, it's like, you see the shadow, yeah? Like, we're not even... We're not mentioning Batman. Because yeah. Batman's not even a figure yet. Mm. We're just scared of the dark now. Because we hear there's a monster in the dark mm. and he's doing stuff to the man. Do you know, do you know so what? we're just staying away. <laughs> do you know what I'm saying? And that's what I love about the whole dialogue. Because at the beginning, man's like, I use fear of the tool, I do this and that. Two, and year, people. two, two years <laughs> two years of nights has turned me into a nocturnal <laughs> animal. <laughs> Shut up, bro! Bro, what? Bro, <laughs> bro, the dialogue is mad. And like Yo. you're saying, like, they just look at just some Yo. pure dark corridor, like, is nothing, Yo. completely nothing. And all we hear at one of the scenes is, doom, doom. <laughs> like, the force that this man uses bro. is, like, is that, legitly crazy. And that Gangster. takes me back to that animated Batman. That, uh, the one where... Gotham it, Knight. Yeah, every person has interpretation yeah. of <laughs> Batman. Like, Batman, yo, yeah. that's the first thought I had when watching this thing for the first time. Yeah, yeah man. It's, it's, like, it's legitly mad, but then what I like as well, like you brought up, was where, like, at first when I first watched it, I was like, why is, like, Bruce Wayne moving like this? But seeing it the second and then the third time, Man don't want to see it. Sure the... enough, bro, about seeing the third time. <laughs> bro, <laughs> bro. I'm just saying, like, it's, it just drains into my head. The more you watch it, you see these little things, like he didn't want to see the accounts. They even brushed over that real quick when he did go to see them, stuff like that. And then at the end, like, the dialogue is completely the opposite of what you were saying at the beginning about mm -hmm. the people, how he wants to move, this like that. So, yeah, like, I yeah, like the background. Like, at the, yeah, the I mean, at the beginning of the movie, mm -hmm. he's, he poses the question to himself. I've been doing this for two years, but have I made a difference? And it's mm. not until the end of the movie that he's like, I have made a difference, but not the difference I thought I was going to make. Wow. Like, <laughs> like, just... And this is why I love this movie so much, because it it, it is legitly pulled from comic books, bruv. Like, at the beginning of the comic, you've got the narrative dialogue. Mm. And usually it's the character who does it himself. Do you know what I'm saying? And that's how this movie feels. Like, it feels like we're gone on a journey inside the mind of... The Batman, do you know, we're mm. in his mind, and that's what I love. And I hope that they just keep that noir yeah. voiceover thing going even more. And one thing, I remember we watched it, and then we was talking. About, I was like, man, I wish there was more of the voiceover. Mm. But then on the second and <laughs> no, third <I'm> viewing, <laughs> <laughs> man realized that, that shit in your head, bro. <laughs> man, man realized that they take the they they use the voiceover, but sometimes. They do it for other characters. Mm. Do you know what I'm saying? And they don't do it for the same way. Like, oh, we're not in their mind. 
but we'll have a voiceover and then we'll show you something else. Mm. So then basically we're in two places at once. One of the times they did that was with Catwoman. They have Catwoman wear the, the back the back contact lenses mm. and go in and then she's talking to him and it's almost like a voiceover thing. And I think they do it another time with one of the back, I think with Riddler. I think they do it with Riddler later mm. on in the movie or something like that. But I just Even the whole love oh, that. That was a bit less, but the whole Alfred situation mm. where man's like an hour behind. Yeah, yeah. That was... Ooh, come on. <laughs> come on. Something terrible is going to happen. Something already has. <laughs> You're an hour left. Have I watched the movie too many times? <laughs> <laughs> Yo! I said, no, 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 The whole no, thing's fire, no, bro. The whole no, thing's fire, no, bro. No, what? No, what? No. what? <laughs> what? <laughs> bro, the, bro, let's I not get there yet, bro. I ain't even started no, yet. Bro. I ain't even started yet. Oh, man, we're so good yet. to you, bro. bro. We ain't even started. Listen. Bro, listen. Yeah, All right, look. Yeah. I want to jump onto, like, on the back of what you said. Go on, go on, go on. Just Batman's growth. Mm. Let's jump on James Gordon because he's a pivotal, is is a, a catalyst to this man's growth. It, I love what they've done with this James Gordon. I've always loved James Gordon in any depiction, never had a problem with it, always loved it. But this one is so refreshing. And the fact that usually he's, he's more like, kind of, I want to say, runs towards Batman's help. And this one, that is not the case. This one is like, we're equally partners. Like, bro, like even the way he blacks on 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 Batman, like that bit where they're at the precinct, and man just pins him. Like I need listen, I need Jeffrey Wright to, to win an Oscar, bruv. Like, I, d- I just need him to to because his role in this thing is fire. He goes stupid hard in this year. And I like the obviously we talk about them being partners, but I, I like the fact of like legitly like one is not more mm. important than the other <clears throat> nope. and there's bare scenes where this happens like that man breaking into the yard and batman's like no guns and he's like bro that's you that's not me <laughs> like now me- bare people might be like oh whoa, whoa whoa what's going on here but yo he sanctions and uses firearms mm. so he's sanctioned he's not batman bro yeah. so he's yeah I'm, sh- I'm shooting the man them <laughs> i'm shooting the man them if you want to punch the hell out of them do you mm. but i'm doing me like just having that and even having Batman not confront it, not confront it, for me, it feels like a shot at other Batman movies on the low as well. Mm. <laughs> Matt Reeves, we'll keep that between me and you. <laughs> Man, the took it there, bro. Right, why am I, listen, it, bruv, it sounds like a shot to me, so I'm Ooh. calling it out. You get me? It might not be, but it sounds like a shot to me. And then I love that part of it. And even the fact that you know what it is, oh, him still being like, oh, we've been working together for two years and you're still not telling me who you are. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like, just that, like, I I love their relationship so deeply and the punch, obviously. <laughs> what you called it? I did. <laughs> <laughs> I just me. love the battle between yeah, these two. Yeah. I just love the way even they break down, like, the puzzles that Riddler's presenting to them. Mm. And what's funny as well, because obviously we find out towards the end that Riddler actually thought man was on his side. So when, like, James Gordon's always saying... Like, is this to you? Like, man's calling you your friend. Like, seeing from his perspective, it does seem like Batman was almost working with the Riddler. Almost like the Riddler was breaking it down. But Batman's like, I'm just here to solve this stuff and just break it down with you. Because obviously we see all right, the so same I, thing. See, and, and, that's, and <laughs> see, that's another part I think is crazy. Is that, like, I actually think that Gordon doesn't think Batman's involved because of his relationship with him. Mm. But when the commissioner comes... And it's like, bro, he's right to hit, bro. They're in, they're working together. <laughs> they're working like, bro. I'm leaving you a note mm. at my murder scene, mm. so you can fulfill the next part, which is what Riddler is actually doing. Mm. But actually, <laughs> and and in, and I love that bat that Riddler tells Batman that it's bro. You're just not as smart as I believed you to be. Like I'm believing you're on my level, so mm. I'm up like so. What you do, I'm interpreting on that level. Yeah. But realistically. You're kind of working down here mm. on this level and I'm on the next thing, mm. bruv. Do you know mm. what I'm saying? And mm. I love that because it makes Riddler an even better character. Mm. And I think what I love about it as well is the, the city of Gotham support Riddler, fam. Mm. I love that because there's no way... Like, Batman can't be the shining hero if the villains are being supported by the public. Mm-hmm. Now, at the end of the movie, the police are kind of supporting Batman. Mm. The public is supporting Batman and the villains are now like, congregating oh, congregating <laughs> against Batman. So now we like 
realistically, we've shuffled everything around from a free for all mm. to Batman, police, villains, hierarchy set up, mm. and the overlooming threat. What they mentioned in the movie Bear Times one when um, Falcon goes, Yo, I'm not ratting, mm. I'll never rat. When the um, what's his name? Gil, Gil Coulson, who plays by Peter Scott Coulson, Skarsgård. Yeah. <clears throat> Firstly, Peter Skarsgård, in his one scene, <laughs> you go hard, fam. Just mm. being a drop head in a DA's office, he goes hard for that. Mm. So when he's got the bomb strapped to his head Man, and gets God. blown up and yeah. says, I'm not giving up no one. Them man out there, they'll kill my whole family. I think all three of these are all signs towards the Court of Owls, 100%. They're being something bigger than what's going on in the city. Um, even Falcone not wanting to give it up. Mm. And I think that riddle, El Rata, mm. with yeah. wings, I think... Ow. Like, yeah, I think it's gonna, it's gonna, oh, yeah, it's gonna evolve past Falcone. I think mm. for this movie, they've said, "Oh, look, it's Falcone." But I think in the, in I the, mean, even in, even Penguin was laughing at the man. I was like, what, "Yeah, but like, you man, like, see, what? like, you the, man, this is so over your head." Like, but this is the thing. I think that is a is a joke and a riddle that is gonna plague us mm. for all three movies. Do you know and what I'm then, saying? And then, and then, and then, if you if you, happen to pick it up, yeah. You pick it because up and we, you lose your mind. We went through bare <laughs> things, bruv. We went through El Rata being... Who did he say first? He said it was a stool pigeon. Mm. Yeah. Then he was like, oh, it's Penguin. Mm-hmm. Then he was like, oh, it's the Batman. Then it was like, oh, it's Falcone. Yeah, Falcon, Do you know what I'm yeah. saying? We, we're, we've eliminated three. But because we think... Because the movie ended, we think that's over. Nah, nah brother. There's more birds out there. there so. Exactly. <laughs> that thing there <laughs> is going to continue, fam. Oh, no. Bring talent. Bring the court. Bring everybody. Yeah, that needs bring to be like, what? The talents have to be like... Third yeah, movie, bro. The I want a, a, ta- a talent, talent should show up in number two and then it should be the all-out war for the yeah. Gotham God. number three, oh, fam. Oh, God. So God. Like when they brought the families about the Wayne and the Arkham. Arkham. Yep. You think that's the only family running team? No, nah, right. bro. We ain't even touched on a couple waltz. Do you know what I'm saying? A couple pots um, in terms of... And we've still got to see uh, Penguins rise to power through the series. Mm. True, so true, true. this whole thing's going to be mad, bro. What else have you, man, got, fam? Uh, let's let's hear one silly the cow, man. Um, <laughs> like, like I said before... We've never had this kind of because usually she's like on the bad side. Mm. Over here, she's just on her own journey, and she just happens to collide with James Gordon and the Batman. Mm. And the whole dynamic with her, because obviously she's here for. Bear in mind, Batman's known as uh, um, vengeance. Vengeance, but realistically, bruv, she's more on that tip mm. of obviously like her mom being murdered, her best friend being murdered. You know what I'm saying, like. I really like what they've done with this Catwoman and how she's not just out here just just stealing stuff, as they usually do. Do you know what I mean? So, she showed it. Yeah, man. I thought Zoe Kravitz was fire as Catwoman, man. I like just how she portrays Cat. It's like, it's hard to explain because I feel like Anne Hathaway did two people. Mm. She did Selena Cole, who was just like, a woman, and then she will flip into Catwoman mode. Mm. Whereas I felt like Zoe Kravitz was like Selena Carl's Catwoman and Catwoman Selena Carl, yeah. and they're exactly the same person, and they're just doing their thing. Do you know what I'm saying? I feel like there was more of a blend. She felt like more of a of of a three dimensional character instead mm. of like switching between roles. Yeah. And that's one of the things that I feel like even Batman does as well. Like there's no that's Bruce Wayne. That's it. These people are just full characters, even with the Penguin. Mm. He's not flipping between. He's a mob boss. Mm. He runs a club. He's the Penguin. And I, I just love that part of it. And I think that she does that so well. Like, she's emotional. She's aggressive. Like, she goes through a range of emotion. And you're never like, oh, that's mad. Mm. The only mad part is at the end where she's got Falcone in her targets and misses point blank <laughs> and just shoots the side. I'm like... No, but I, f- I thought... I know the lights The lights went out. Like, the yeah, editing's got to no, be no, better no, on bro, that one. I hate it, I hate it. <laughs> bro, I've like, seen it I three like, times. I've like, <laughs> seen it three times. The editing's off, bro. <laughs> Batman statues are the <laughs> No, no, it's off, bro. It's off. Yeah. It's off. Yeah, it is. It's off. It's off. I caught to the first... The second time, I was like, wait, hold on. This guy's a bit mad. Yeah, it's, 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 it's bad. It's bad. It's bad. But yeah. I like it. I, I like her fighting style as well. I, mm. I, 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 I love the way she fights. Yo. I love the way she fights. And I love that they don't overdo it and be like, well, we've got to have a scene where she beats Batman. Yeah. Do you know what I'm saying? Where it's like, that wouldn't happen. Mm. So it doesn't happen. And I just like that. But... 
it still shows like how sick she was, yeah. how ride or die she was for a for a mm. bridging, mm. and she still gets the bag of money, and she still gets the bus, and she drops the Bloodhaven line. So yeah, it's all love. Yeah. yeah. Um. Just one thing on the fighting. Props to you, man, because one of the things that clock were her fighting style was a lot of the times she was using next man's weight against them. Mm. Fire, 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 fire. Appreciate Even it. just like the, I think it was just like usually the final parts. <clears throat> usually like also the environment against them as well. So even though I think one part she was being held, she literally leant forward to the hit man hit the is it the snooker table? Mm. Yeah, 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 exactly. I was like, yeah. Cool, blimey, just, bruh, that's what I'm saying. Like, bruh, it's, it's not just some unrealistic like, strength, strength. Yeah, like, yeah, it's actually <clears throat> momentum, momentum, all of that. Mm. So nah, man. Yeah, but just their character in general. Like I enjoy their performance. Like just even the yin and yang between her and Batman. Also, like you said, it wasn't so much of always biting heads. They were always going on the same journey, and obviously at the end she's like. You know the city is gonna kill you. Man's not answering the question, but also realizing the answer. And like at the end, where they do separate, he's looking in his rear view, and like the camera is actually quite steady. Mm. But as soon as she's out of it, man's focused. The camera is shake. I'm like, man's on. <laughs> so, so I'm mad too for the next movie because without her around, I feel like what's gonna calm Batman down. Bro, and this is and this is when man's talking about production, bro. That's what I'm saying. Man's Everything's on purpose. Vision. Mm. The vision for this movie. It's so freaking crazy, bro. Yeah. It's mad. All right, one of the other things I love is like just so much of the smaller details that are just peppered through the movie, peppered through Gotham. Like right at the beginning, when uh, Batman's stalking that that group mm. um, of guys, like three of them have got red hoods in it. Do you know what I'm saying? Mm. And I'm like, these are the things, yeah, that like just me and you <laughs> are enjoying together. <laughs> Yeah, just me and you are enjoying it together and no one else is realising. But yeah. one of the things I loved about that is because it's like, they had Red Hood, so it's like an homage to the Red Hood gang, but also the um, the characters there had clown paint, uh, face paint. Mm. So I'm like, oh, this is also a homage to the, cl- the Joker group, but we've mixed it in with the Red Hood group. Mm. And then one of the things that I don't think is coincidence is they've got a the kid who plays Jason Todd in Titans oh, yeah. playing a member of the Red Hood mm. gang mm. here, fam. Mm. Do you know what I'm saying? And I was like, I would love for him to get the opportunity to still be that Jason Todd and, do you know what I'm saying? Still, still be that character in Especially when he kind of saved Batman from the shot. <clears throat> that was pretty much... They show that he's not yeah, fully... he's not fully... On the other side. Like, the whole train ride, he wasn't certain. He was just mm-hmm. like, I'm kind of peer pressured into this situation kind of thing, so... Yeah. So yeah, man. I really, yeah, so I really like that. Um, there's just other bits, like, that are just so like, oh, you, man, did that. That are sick. I just, <clears throat> I just like the whole colour of Gotham in general because it's almost, it reminds me of the, the Arkham <clears throat> Night games where it's like, the whole city is dark, but they use colour so well that it's, it's, it's hard to explain, but they pulled it off where it's dark, but it's Certain got things this, are vibrant. Yeah. And they, they just bring out the colour and stuff. So when it, it does shut down and it's completely dark and it uses a certain colour when it's pure red, even in the hallway scene when it's coming through and the guns are just going off, there's another scene where it's like pretty prominent. I'm Darth, like, we call that the Darth Vader Ooh. scene. <laughs> always <laughs> legit, always legit. But the way they pulled it off for me is, they, they, that again, it reminds me of a comic book where mm-hmm. they use it uh, like, again, the panels. The, yeah, the panels, the darkness, but only certain bits are just going to be lit up with one colour. I'm like, wow. No, I love that, man. Yeah. Definitely love that. What else you got? The main event. What? Paul Dano? <laughs> the Riddler? <laughs> Do you know what's mad here? Yeah? Come what, on. What I've seen on... Like, I don't want to get into this debate. Dark, like, what Joker versus Riddler. I've seen oh, it. that's ridiculous, man. Yeah, I don't want to... But I'm just saying, I want to put... I, I want to get into it. I just want to no, talk about how never. fire the Riddler is. I will is. never disrespect yeah. the man like that, bro. Get me. Never. Not on this channel. Are you crazy? One of the things... Take that energy elsewhere, no, bro. I'm, te- I'm, I'm saying it now because yeah, I know the Here comments are going to be mad. Listen. Don't even... Listen. No. Listen. Look. Yeah? You see, in life, nice things are nice things. Don't ruin it, yeah? And don't let your clown fish, clown memory get in the way of things. <laughs> yeah? Clown fish. Come on. Yeah. It's mad. <laughs> Stop it. You Twitter, know, yeah. stop it. It's mad. Man, <laughs> telling Twitter to stop it. Never. All right, guys, go follow us on Twitter still. Get me. But um, I think Paul, da- obviously, Paul Dano's... I don't even know. Paul Dano is super hard in this. Yeah. Super hard. Like, obviously, I'm, I've said it so many times, but maybe if I haven't said it here, like, 
um, the movie obviously takes reference from like Seven, the Zodiac movie, mm. the Zodiac killer in real life. But I think Paul Dano takes all of that, hones it in, and just is a sick Riddler fan. He's such a sick Riddler. And I think the sickest part about him is super relatable. The stuff he does is like super doable. Yeah. You know, super doable. Mm. And like, he also knows his own strengths and weaknesses and plays to them like perfectly. Mm. And that's how he so easily manipulates the whole city, bro. And you can tell that basically just by the end where man's in an apartment across the street from where he's been sending everyone the whole movie. Like, he's just there watching the whole time, waiting for the rap to come into the light. Mm. Like, he's a sick guy, bro. He's a sick guy, bro. I just love it, man. See, you you mentioning uh, his strengths and weaknesses... First thing I prayed about this guy, right at the beginning, when he knocks down, knocks out the mayor, did you guys notice the way he's bo- the way he, he had to throw his whole body mm. into him? Because that's how <clears throat> like fragile he is. He's not, he's not a brute guy, mm. but they've managed to show that on the screen. Like, he almost like kind of stumbles yeah, into yeah. hitting, man. Yeah, yeah. And even at the end, he kind of admits, like, listen, I'm just the words. You, Batman, you're the physical guy. Mm. I can never do what you can do. Like... Bro, bro, no, like, and 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 he's got and obviously because he's obviously so smart. He it's like he's frustrated with some of these people because he's like, even on the phone, the way he just blacks. Mm. Yeah, bro, that's that like the most. Cause like, shut up, bro. bro. <laughs> You're not even on my left, like, bro. The way he was spazzing on the phone. Yes. Bro, like I like that's what I love. You're gassing me. It's, bro, you it's, are it's, gassing me. Bro, I feel sorry for the person that was sitting next to me. I, but like, listen, if you're watching, I apologize. Yeah, I hit a couple of times, but every time this man spazzed out, said something sick, or or one of or one of the riddles was being solved. Ah, uh, the gist. Man, I, I was watching it, yeah, and then again, all I see is man spazzing out. But then I think what brought it to light the most is when at the end. It's like, hey, hey guys! guys. <laughs> <laughs> How are you doing today? How are you this done? This is our last video. Bro, bro, there's another one, there's another one, there's another one, there's another one. There's another one. There's another one. <laughs> hey, listen, he's sick, he's sick, he's sick, he's sick. Bro, man walks into his apartment, there's the picture of him in the Riddler mask mm. and a picture without him. The one without him, he's like this. <laughs> the one with him, he's like, he's got the mask on and I'm like, bro, they show in this movie, bro. like, yourself and your shadow self next to each other so many times. And that's mm. what I think is being portrayed when man's blacking. It's like, yo, Riddler's talking to Batman. Mm. Shadow self to shadow self. Everything's calm. Yo, bro, this is what it is. Why are you doing this? Boom. As soon as someone who is not a shadow self, mm. <laughs> like the mayor, tries to chat to man, he's losing it. Yo, bro. don't chat to me. You ain't, you're not hit, bro. Yo, bro you're not, Your mind not. hasn't yeah. ascended yeah. to the place where you can chat to man. Mm. And that's and and bro, he's a sick guy, Love bro. Savage. Love and then even it's, it gets to a point at the end where man's in prison, where I feel like it's almost like a merger mm. of both of them. Mm. When he starts singing, mm. when when Batman comes to him and he and he deciphers, oh, we're not the same. Mm-hmm. It's like the, he don't need the mask no more. It just. It just comes yeah, over him, fam. The river, like, yeah, fam. It's tough, see bro. The bit, see it's the tough. bit where my man's singing Ave Maria. Mm. Mm. Now you see Matt Reeves here. Yeah? <laughs> you see, you see, you see when you're paying your your you're paying homage to to your to your colleagues in that. Because what did Zack Snyder was playing? Uh, Alleluia. Mm-hmm. <laughs> if you get it, you get it. <laughs> It's all mad. mad. Nah, man. Yeah, man. He's, he's this is yeah. I just even like man's just got quotable lines like this guy's gonna be brought up for I don't know how many Batmans. Please do not lie. Come on, bro. Like I don't know where you got your material nah, from. The I don't know where you got this stuff from, but the he riddles smashed it. So that's when fire. I started seeing like even the first time when he saw Batman in the prison, where he's like, "Oh, glad you came." <clears throat> Talking mad calm or whatever, and then Batman's like, "Oh, look at you." You're sick. I'm not like you. He's like, no! Like, man's time man. literally breaking uh, down. And like I said, it became, like, you just became rid of it from there. Yeah, man. Bruv. All right, so... One there, of the best things. There was one question I asked you, Sam, at the movies. Mm. 
can't remember what it was, but it's something about him and Bruce being related. Because mm. obviously, he's a he's an orphan. Mm. Bruce is an orphan, but in two different realms. Because obviously, one's rich, one's in, into the system. Mm. Oh, are they? Is there like? Was his dad the the report that got murked? Nah, his dad's not the report that got murked, but he does mention hush in there. Hush money! Mm -hmm. Do you know what I'm saying? So I feel like, in anything, we might return to that picture. Yeah. So there's the picture of the Waynes, and then there's the picture of Riddler mm. next to them. Right. I think one of them other kids is going to be Tommy Elliot, mm. who is H the character Hush, mm. and that will play a role. Like, if that's the character, the murder... Bro, for because. me, Hush seems like a perfect villain mm. for the next movie, mm -hmm. if we're talking about serial killers and making it real worldy. Do you know what I'm saying? So I don't think they're going to be related like that. Yeah, but, but I do think... We're gonna build more on this whole, this this moment here in time where that that project was being the renewal was being made was really right the 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 part and, the start and, of it and all. And the whole thing with me asking is there some sort of relation between them because obviously because we're now diving deep into into Gotham and I'm thinking of Core Owls is he like not a foundling but like one of the youths from them and from back then. But he just happened to go into the system. I don't know. Because why is he in that picture, bro? Like, why? Because he's just in the, the, the way, the way they've, the way they've presented it, like the canvas. I was. It's almost like two identical pictures, but kind of like the picture got torn apart. If that makes sense. See, I just thought it was like a. Obviously, the Waynes run the for orphanage, mm. so I just think they were just taking a picture with all the kids in the orphanage. But I think that what's going to happen is from that happening and that good being snuffed out of Gotham, that lots of those kids from the orphanage. Into falling, yeah, fall into the cracks, bro. Riddler's gonna probably end up being one of the good ones mm. that like made it out. Do you mm. know what I'm saying? Yeah. As opposed to the ones that now are like deep, deep, deep in organizations and other stuff. Do you know what I'm saying? Mm. And someone's gonna be like, Riddler's a good one. I'm... If you care, you care. I ain't got time to explain it to you, man. Anyway, do you know what else we ain't got to explain? How the subscribe button works? Hit that ting. Look, yeah. Oh, let's talk about the Joker ting. My worst thing about the whole movie is the last five minutes. Like, so, and this is this is my big negative for the movie because obviously it's almost a three hour runtime. But I think my issue is that everything that happens after leaving the top of the stadium, mm. I don't really like. Yeah, it, Do you know <clears> what I'm saying? I felt like that was a perfect end. We, we had made vengeance become Batman. Mm. And I think everything else after that is just set up for the next one. For, for something else. Yeah, and I don't and I don't like it. Do you know what I'm saying? Because I feel like it's a bit forced and it's it's just not needed. Like I know you mentioned the 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 motorbikes going away from um, Batman and Catwoman, and I do I think it's fine. It's mm, a fine just yeah. to see that they're going separate ways, but at the same time, don't need to see it. Mm. Like if we start the next movie and it's like, oh, Selena's gone off to Bloodhaven, boom, like that's one line of dialogue. We don't need this extra minute, this extra minute, and then the whole Joker and Riddler talking in the Arkham cells. I felt like was just super unneeded, mm. super... I, I, I wouldn't go to say forced, but for the standalone movie we got, yeah. just yeah. weren't needed mm. at all. And I think it was like, they're like, oh, look, we're making a movie, we're making a movie, we're making a movie. But I still comment what movie had these things on. <laughs> now, even... And, and it says it to me even more <coughs> telling with the post credit scene. Mm. They're like, comic book movies have a post credit scene, so we've got to put something at the end. Mm. But... We're trying to take this seriously, so we're not going to put footage at the end. Mm -hmm. But what I would have said is that two minutes that they had on the end of the movie, that should have got moved to the end mm -hmm. instead of having that mm -hmm. website come up. Because like, yeah. then <clears throat> it's like, boom, your movie over at the top, credits roll, I can turn it off. Mm -hmm. But then if you stay, you get the comic book isms in the, this is what's coming in the next movie, this is part of the next comic book. Yo, That's how yo, I feel about it. I definitely agree with you with that runtime, that extra runtime that wasn't needed. The only thing that piqued my interest was how does this Joker going to look? Because obviously we've had this Penguin who just looks like... just It's just a mob boss called the Penguin. He's going to get... Colin Farrell's gonna get, gonna get. Gonna get. He's gonna get more though. Right. He's gonna get. He's gonna so, get. The, I think Batman's gonna do him in the next movie with right. the eye, or maybe in a show. <laughs> I hope in a show, Batman shows up for one episode and does his eye in with okay. the bottle. Mm. Okay. Okay. Because you know it's not a. 
Oh, it's not a, it's not a, it's, it's not, not a, just the, the, it's a, it's the end of a bottle that they couldn't surgically remove from his eye. Okay, okay, okay. See, I didn't even know the, that. It's not a monocle. I yeah, that's know. it. So I, I hope he gets that. I always thought it was a monocle. No, nah, well, in some interpretations, some it's, a it's a monocle, but right. it's a, it's the that's end of a bottle what? that got smashed in that if they removed, he would have lost his eye, so they kept it in there. That's yeah. mad. Yeah, I'm, I just. I hope they go that way. I just, I just want to see how they do this, this, this joker now. Like, how's it going to look? How's he going to move? How's he going to talk? I just like, don't want it. Yeah. I know, but they've, they've put it there. Like. They have, but... The, it, bro, yeah, that's the thing. Even they've included it here, but I don't think they've committed enough to say that this guy's got to be the villain for the next movie or I, or heavily involved. You know what? I don't even want him to be... Neither do I. No, you know what? If Bell's anything, if Bell. anything, he could just be the whispers. Like, man, you know, like, shit stirrer. Mm. He can be that doing from the cell. Mm. Do you know what I'm saying? Or, See, the thing about stuff that, like, that is... And, 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 and I know... We shouldn't be bringing like what fans do mm. into it, but one <clears throat> when you put a scene like that in the movie, it's gonna make fans want that. Want that, and, and, then, it, then and they don't know, and then the fans don't know what they want. Right, they're just like, oh, we got Joker. But for me, if I was Matt Reeves, bruv, we just have like we've got the Nolan trilogy. I wouldn't have Joker as my central villain one for the second movie. Mm. One, at any point, at any point, uh, uh, this trilogy, or however long they're going to run with mm. with, with Matt Reeves Batman. Mm. I do not want the Joker because I fell in love so much with these characters who, in the past, look how they look. Obviously, that was that era. Mm. That's how they looked. But now we're in a perfect position, which you've done. To stick with, with this unconventional movie. villains. Mm. Let's go. Let's go yeah. to that route. Bro, you know I, the thing is, yeah, one of the one of the things that I would love them to do, dive into Hush, dive, in, dive into Azriel, who is a character that I think in this world makes a lot of sense as well. And even... One of the th- other next things I love is um, from the beginning of the movie when um, the commission is the commission the mayor dies. Mm. Batman goes to the house and sees the son. Remember the son oh, yeah, yeah. saw so the, the dad, murder. Yeah. And Batman and the you have a look, and it's like, yeah, I've seen what you've seen. Uh, yeah, if yeah, you could be yeah. Damien, huh? Like without being, I wouldn't want him to be Damien. I would want <clears throat> that kid to be someone like Azriel who grows oh, up. Because okay. remember, when he's playing fighting with his dad, mm, man's got the he's got on. a hood and yeah. he's got a cape and a sword. Mm. And I'm like, that seems like the kind of kid that would grow up and then like through the money, learn and train and then I'll look up, like look up to Batman. <laughs> Batman was the guy that that figured out who killed my parents, and, mm. and so that's a type Azriel character I would mm. have there or a. I would call them a Robin type character, but not in the sense of becoming a Robin. Yeah. Becoming someone who looks up to Batman and wants to follow the path. Mm. And I think that's the kind of thing that they should do. So Batman shouldn't have Robins that he's training from a youth. Mm. Say, he should yeah. have he should have people that he's coming into contact with mm. that he's inspired that he's taken under that's his wing. Yeah, yeah. And some that he, Yeah, and some that he's not taken under his wing. Mm. Like, oh no, nah, you're a red hood. Mm. Like you use guns, you're yeah. on <laughs> stay over there. We have clashes, but I I know mm, mm, that mm. I would like more Ooh. so that type. That would be even be legit if they even introduced the Dark Knight. I mean, the Arkham, Arkham Knight. Knight. That would be sick as well. well. Obviously, they introduced the family here. Mm-hmm. If they were people of like very powerful people, why wouldn't they be like a, a militarized a militarized Batman? Yeah, pretty much. Yeah, fam. Bruv, oh. bruv, go like, there. Go there. One, bruv. <laughs> we're at the cusp. Go we're there. just starting. Matt and you might not even see the Peter movie. Craig, hey, listen, you. you guys, the whole cast, you guys have done something freaking amazing with this movie, man. And we even touched the music, but you already know how we feel about the music. Like, <sighs> the music is just, oh, so gracious, so good, man. That's what I was going to say. Like, for me, the action in this movie is, is stupidly, stupidly engaging. Especially, like, the whole motorway scene. Bloody hell, like... I wasn't expecting much from the trailer because obviously that was one of my favorite shots. That the, like they they did the car, he skidded, and you see that the car keep going. But before that, the whole chase scene, woo, super mad. But then that's what blew my mind is where I think Bel Real got shot, mm. and it's like obviously uh, Gordon goes to get her for cover. But when I think later on, she's all moving fine. I was like, did you guys not realize she got shot? I mean, the she arm got was... shot in the arm. Yeah, she got, oh, shot, in the, she got yeah, shot in the yeah, shoulder. Yeah. And I think they wrapped it up they wrapped later. It up. Okay, I'm she, like, she, had the, she had the arm in the thing. Yeah. Too okay. I, I, I think I've never been shot before, but I'm like. I think it was more of the. Sh- <laughs> I think it was more of the shock. Do you want to? When she, I think it was more of the shock when she got shot oh, that right. she didn't walk, get up and walk oh, okay. off. And more so, Gordon just spring into action and be yeah. like, "I gotta get her out of there." Okay. You get me? So I thought that was fine, man. 
But yeah, yeah look, man, love the movie. And for me, like, the more I watch it, I like it even more. Do you know what I'm saying? And I'm going this weekend. I mean, I'm going, I don't know what you man are doing. Get me, I've got to stay ahead of Raven and how many times I've watched it. Get me, so there's that. But like I said, you know guys know what to do. Hit the subscribe button, hit the thumbs up, press the notification bell so you get notified every time we drop our banger. And other than that, I'm Jay, one further the Cyber Nerds. Raven, your GS. Sam, Mr. Blitzdeck. See you in the comment section. Peace. Bye, bye.